AccuWeather extreme meteorologist Reed Timmer. A lot of water, we're told trillions of gallons worth uh, that, that folks along that line are going to be looking at here, huh? Yeah, and we're on the barrier island out here. We just passed the high tide at noon, so it is starting to go out a little bit, but you can really see those massive waves right at high tide. They're already lapping up against the sand berm here. We even saw wall clouds, potential to water spout tornadoes uh, going by in that outer band of convection here. And we're at Topsail Beach right now, and the next high tide will be 11.30 p.m. tonight. The hurricane will be much closer. We'll be getting battered by onshore flow with a six to nine foot storm surge. It's going to go up and over this berm. It will inundate the entire island and that includes all the barrier islands up to the outer banks and that's why you absolutely want to heed those ev evacuation warnings and get out of here because uh, this hurricane is likely not going to be survivable out in these islands you get up uh, uh, storm surges up to 13 14 feet as some have been warning Reed. i mean that would that would just annihilate a lot of those barrier islands period they'd be covered in water yeah, it certainly would, and it'll likely change the landscape forever out here on the Outer Banks and the Barrier Islands. Even a nor'easter that goes by or a weaker hurricane will uh, change the landscape out here. They're basically large sandbars, and so with the hurricane stalling out here, that's the biggest concern, is a prolonged battering of these large waves against the eastern sides of these Barrier Islands, just eating away the sand and changing the landscape forever, uh, eroding the foundations of these homes. Most of these homes are still homes here, but even with a, a nine, ten-foot storm surge, uh, that will Will likely be up in these homes, even above the stilts. How many are staying close by? They're not leaving their homes. Yeah, nobody here on Topsail Beach, as far as we know. I'm sure there are some people that are hunkering down, but it's under a mandatory evacuation. And as far as we know here uh, up on Topsail Beach, there's nobody staying behind. It is different down at Wrightsville Beach. There are a few more people staying uh, on the island down there despite those mandatory evacuations. And I can't stress enough, uh, you've definitely got to get out of these areas because with that storm surge, it's just mathematics. When you have a five-foot-tall island and you've got a 10-foot storm surge on it, you're going to have waves above that. That's just not a survivable situation. Well put, Reed. Thank you very, very much. Reed Timmer in the middle of it all.